Hi guys, welcome to uh, my video on essays. We will be looking at the planning and uh, we will also look at the example of how can you plan an outstanding essay. So uh, really quickly, again, the mark scheme. So remember, if you want to be in the top uh, of the mark scheme, you need to make sure that uh, you provide the integrated response. Topics are linked to the main essay questions. You write at the A-level standard termino terminology. You will always clearly explain what you mean. There is no errors and the essay is well written. But it doesn't look like it's so easy because normally people achieve on average about 12 marks on an essay. And this is because they don't make links. So don't be one of them, make links and make your grade shine. So make sure that your essay is spot on. How to do it? Really easily. So what you need to remember, uh, peel, okay? So point, example, evidence, link. This is how you need to structure your four or five different paragraphs. OK, so uh, what we've mentioned about mark scheme topics has to be linked, integrated, A-level standard terminology and always clearly explain. So let's have a look how we can do it. So planning four or five topics. OK, and there is a trick here. So you cannot just talk, uh, talk about anything randomly because the topic classifies as a number, OK, associated with the topic on the spec. So let's say 3341 is the mass transport in animals. So anything here in the spec counts as one topic. So hemoglobin, OK, uh, circulation system, the structure of the heart, the structure of capillaries, tissue fluid and all this, this is one topic. So if you, for example, decided to talk about hemoglobin, heart and the tissue fluid formation and you're thinking there are three topics, no, you are wrong. This is still one. So remember, whatever is in the spec here, that's one topic. So all of those will classify as one. Same for the transport across membrane. Don't be thinking that if you just simply describe uh, different types of the movement, like simple diffusion, facilitated osmosis, active transport, the co transport, that's five topics done. Incorrect. This is one topic. So you can talk about all of them, but that still will classify as one topic topic okay so same with the gas exchange another thing so the gas exchange in a single cell organism in insects in fish and in plants any of those that's one topic so don't make that silly mistake okay select topics from across the spec so uh, same photosynthesis dependent independence one topic same all of the topics for respiration that's still one topic but what it will be as two different topics will be the nerve impulses, for example, in synapses. So nerve impulse, that's one topic. Synapses, that's another topic. OK, so be careful. So if you're looking now on my screen, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven topics. That's it. OK, so when you're selecting and planning, select five topics from abroad okay so don't be focusing on one part of the spec because the essay is synoptic right so for example uh, same approach as before point example evidence and the mark scheme on the side we could be talking about the importance of phosphate in biology because if you're looking at paper one and paper two they didn't ask any questions on ions so they easily could give you a lovely essay about ions so for instance okay my first point will be glycolysis OK, because I can see phosphate in there. So phosphorylation of glucose is taking place. So that is my example. The evidence, the explanation bit will be to uh, what's the importance of it. The importance of the phosphate in the phosphorylation is to make it more reactive. So the glucose can be split to triophosphate. Pyruvate will be produced and also reduce NAT. And then the importance of this is the reduced NAT will carry electrons and hydrogens. And the linking here is to the production of ATP, okay, which is again, which contains phosphate. So the final acceptor of the hydrogens and electrons in the aerobic respiration is the oxygen. This takes place in ETC where ATP is produced, which is, for example, needed for active transport. And again, this shows you the importance of the phosphates because ATP is there for starting point 
was phosphorylation. So now I need to think about my integration with the next topic. So for the next topic, I will talk about ATP in the process of absorption, in the process of co-transport. So my example then will be active transport of the sodium ions from the epithelial cell into the blood capillary. What's the evidence? What's the uh, explanation? What's the importance to maintain the diffusion gradient? So co-transport of sodium ions and glucose can take place. So uh, at the end, we've got facilitated diffusion of glucose. So again, started with ATP contains phosphate in co-transport, but then finishing with something else because it's synoptic approach. So glucose, okay in blood then it's needed for example for the respiration which you've mentioned in your first paragraph well i've mentioned in my first paragraph and then how can i link it next so i will say that the products of photosynthesis are used in respiration okay because i want to talk about photosynthesis now where can i see uh, phosphate in photosynthesis okay in the uh, reduced NATP, for example. So reduced NATP is a product of light dependent reaction together with ATP, both contain phosphate. What's the job of uh, NADP? So it's to carry electrons and uh, hydrogen ions. Another thing that I will be talking about is then, is then the product of the uh, light independent reaction. And this is, to produce the biomass. So for example, I could say that GP will be reduced to TP, which produces glucose, and that then given you the biomass. And I can link it to the next topic, which is the nutrient cycle, and I could talk about the phosphorus cycle. So in your last paragraph, you could describe the phosphorus cycle, you could then talk about the importance of this, so you could easily say that this is the phosphate is found in uh, DNA, in RNA, so the protein could be produced, so increases the growth and whatever. Okay, so that's how you need to approach your essays. So that's everything. Thank you. See you later.